We're going to fix that dreaded profile that doesn't have access to GTA Online, even though all your settings are at adult and sharing and multiplayer on. I was looking for it myself and I found it, so I'm sharing it with you guys. So first things first, you want to go to your profile and you want to sign yourself out. Just going to hide some stuff here because it's information other than my own. Um, so yep, we'll cover that up a little bit. Now what you want to do is you want to go down to your settings and account management and remove accounts. Yep, remove account and remove the account that's having the issue. This will only remove the account from the Xbox, all the data will stay on Xbox.com or Xbox Live. It'll all stay there, all the game scores, rank, friends, achievements, the whole lot, it all stays online. Alright, we'll just wait for this to hurry up and load through. And that's the account successfully removed for now. Now what you want to do is go back to the sign in page, scroll right to the bottom where it says to add another account, add new, put your username and your password, oh sorry your email address and your password and everything back in, and click add account and wait for it to add that account back to the Xbox, choose your sign in and security preferences once it has, then proceed, what's that, okay we don't need to worry about that, just press home button gets rid of that. And then you can proceed to load the game that we were having trouble with, like Grand Theft Auto. And as you will see, I'll speed this up for you, and it will say loading story mode. But that's okay, that's fine. Some of you, if you've got a really quick connection, it'll load it up really fast, and it'll actually switch to loading online, all the RV buttons for the special jobs. But if it's still loading, so like loading story mode, that's fine, because once you get in there, you can choose online and go online that way. Okay, so now I've loaded into story mode, we just want to pull up the um, start menu and we go across to online as normal and you'll see that the online options are now available and when I click it, it will actually go to the online menu and I can go online without it saying that your account does not have permission, what does it say? Your profile does not have permission to access GTA Online, something like that. Problem solved guys, problem solved. There we go.